Hey everyone and welcome back. This is Federico from Wave Motion Recordings and I'm here today once again with a new plugin demo for you guys. This time it's the STL Tonality Andy James signature plugin by the fine folks at STL Tones and Ignite Amps. So Andy James is a very famous guitar player with incredible technique and a fantastic melodic taste. So if you don't know who he is, you should go look him up. Uh, I'm very excited about this plugin because as you can see, we have the first EVH 5153 amp sim ever, I think. And I'm uh, super stoked about it because it's actually one of my favorite heads. Uh, I also own the hardware version, so I was thinking about doing a comparison. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that, by the way. Um, so yeah, let's see what this plugin has to offer. I'm testing the plugin on the mix session of the latest album by the band Sharks In Your Mouth. It's a very cool metalcore record with uh, genty and orchestral influences. So if you're into that kind of music, make sure to check it out. The record is called Sacrilegious and the band again is Sharks In Your Mouth. So it sounds very good to me. Now let's see what we actually have in the plugin. First of all, if you're familiar with the STL tonality series, it will be very easy for you to use this because uh, it's actually the same interface. So down here we have the whole signal chain. Uh, from left to right, there's the input level, a gate, a tuner, the amp selection block, the cabinet selection block, and the tone section, which lets you visualize each block of the signal chain. And then lastly, we have an output level. So let's take a look at the amp selection. First of all, there's the EVH5153, which I'm really excited about. And then we have a PV6505 and the Vox AC30 top boost. So you might be asking yourself, what is the Vox doing here since it's not a metal amp sim? But honestly, I think it's a very smart addition because it lets you have clean and crunch tones inside the same plugin. And also, since we still have the mixer mode that was introduced with the Will Putney Suite, um, you can blend a high gain tone with this uh, cleaner tone in order to add back some more clarity and note definition, which I think is pretty cool. So, as for the cabinets, uh, there's three of them. And of course, as always, you have the, um, the option to add your own external IRs. Okay, let's play around with the M1 a little bit. I think it sounds pretty cool paired with the cabinet number one. I think uh, number two sounds a bit dark and number three is maybe too harsh. So I think it fits the Vox AC30 best. Uh, let's compare the 5153 to the 6505. I kind of prefer the EVH because it has a bigger low end and sounds fuller, but uh, the 6505 is cool as well because it sounds tighter and uh, more focused on the mids. So let me know what you guys think in the comments if you prefer one or the other. So let's hear all the amps and all the cabinets.
And of course, the Vox AC30 wasn't meant to be used with high gain parts, so um, let's hear how it sounds on a clean part. Okay, I really like this actually, a uh, very nice crunch tone and it's very hard to find a nice crunch tone in Amsims in my opinion. The gain can also get pretty high with the high input and uh, beautiful tremolo modulation here. Now let's check out this tone box section because there's a very cool thing which is the Andy James Revenant signature pedal. They just announced this a few days ago and I think it's very cool that they're releasing this in both hardware and software versions at the same time. It's a preamp with a four band parametric EQ, gain knob and volume knob. The focus is kind of like adding an overdrive in front of it and we can route this uh, in front of the amplifier like we would with a normal pedal, but we can also send it to the power amp. So if we do it, we will see that the preamp controls are grayed out and won't work. Uh, so we can control the overall tone just by the um, Revenant pedal. And lastly, this shape EQ is very cool because it changes the mids EQ, so in the upper position, it really brings the mids forward and adds a ton of attack to your guitar. And then of course you have an 808 simulation. This one uh, simulates the Maxon OD 808, which is one of the uh, best 808 style pedals in my opinion. Cool, so let's move on to the effects section. There's a delay, reverb and lo-fi pedal. The controls on the delay and reverb are pretty complete and straightforward. The pre-post switch controls whether the modulation is before or after the actual effect. So uh, let's hear how they sound. The lo-fi effect is simple but useful. The frequency knob controls the center frequency around which the filter is centered and gain as saturation. So it's very cool for transitions and layers and effects. Now I'll show you what I meant earlier when I was talking about blending high gain tones and low gain tones. So here I'm in the mixer mode and I'm using the 5153 as my main amp, but like every high gain distorted tone, it starts to lose a bit of clarity and definition when I push the gain. So uh, if we blend it with a cleaner and more dynamic tone, we can get back some of that bite and definition that we lost. <laughs>
And this was just one suggestion of one way you can use the Vox AC30 in here. But of course, you can use the mixer mode to blend multiple high gain heads with your own impulses so that you can create your own personal tone. Okay, that's it guys. Let me know if you want to see the comparison between the actual hardware EVH5153 and the plugin. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.